everyone, Sue Moulton here, Cooking with Sue, and today is Tip Tuesday. So I want to give you a quick tip on how I cut my bell peppers. A lot of people cut their bell pepper around the top here and then they pull the seed ball out. But unless you're doing stuffed peppers, you don't need to, need to do it that way. What you're going to do is you're going to take your bell pepper and you're going to turn it upside down. And you're going to grab one of our professional knives. Now, by the way, if you use your knives regularly, you really should be honing your knives. This is our Pamper Chef honing tool, and you'll notice that it has two little X's right down the center. And the way you hone a knife is you, this is a safety guard, so you pull the safety guard out so your counter doesn't get ruined. And then you just drag your knife end to tip, end to tip, end to tip, four times or so through here. And um, it will help your knife, and I'm just gonna rinse it. Um, it will help your knife to cut better. And so if you've never honed your knife, um, honing and sharpening are very different things. So when you are using um, a professional knife, when you use a knife, it bends in one direction or another, or gets little barbs on it. So you wanna make sure that you're honing it so that it cuts great, nice and smooth. Um, you only need to sharpen a professional knife every two years. So you're just gonna cut down through the center of your bell pepper just like this, and you're gonna stick your thumbs into the middle and you're gonna pull apart the seed ball. And what you're gonna get is the seed balls on one half. And look at how easy this is. You just stick your thumb in it, and then you pull it out, and you've lost nothing of your pepper. So I love that tip because a lot of us are always trying to cut around the seed ball, and you really don't need to do that. You're gonna get a lot more pepper out of it if you just stick your thumb inside and just pull the seed ball out. So unless you're doing stuffed peppers, you definitely wanna give that a try. And then we have our great quick slice that you can slice down perfect size slices. They'll be perfect for whether you're doing a dip or whether you're stir frying with them. Um, the other thing I'm going to be doing in a few minutes is I'm going to be making an avocado pesto. So stay tuned. <laughs> 